Yeah. Hi guys. So yeah, look at this set here now. So again, this set is about a linear arrangement uh, involving uh, two parameters here. So one is arrangement as well as uh, we have this uh, people liking is sports here. Okay. So obviously, if you read here, there are six conditions here, and if I count this uh, uh, condition as individual also, there are some total eight to nine conditions here. So eight to nine condition set is always uh, a good set, right? Because it takes some metal to solve in a, in the prescribed time actually. Okay. So just try you can just try this set. This set should hardly take around uh, six to seven minutes. Okay. And if you cannot, you can just see my approach. How I'm approaching such set. Writing all the indirect points outside the cases, direct points inside the cases. Okay, trying to uh, consolidate all the point in the end, right? So let's try to observe how to do it. Okay, so basically in this in the arrangement set, so I always tell start with at least two cases. Okay, you can just start off with at least two cases. For example, here is one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. There are seven persons here. You just draw two cases here. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. So if I start off with two cases here, guys. So what what will we observe, observe here? So again, we'll just try to read the points and put all the indirect points outside the table, all the direct points inside the table of the cases. So this is my case one and this is my case two. So look at the first point, guys. Now first point says that A sits third to the left of the person who plays soccer and third to the right of H. So from here. Actually, if we try to extract the points, so the total there are actually seven point seven uh, persons here. So A sits third to the left of the person who plays soccer. So A is third to someone, and A is third right of also someone. That is H. That means total there are seven persons. So three plus three should be six, and plus one A should be seven. That means by the first statement, A should absolutely be in the middle. So A should be in the middle. So A sits third to the right of the person. So obviously, before that, also people get confused here. I told earlier also, since all are facing north, so you can just tell all are. You can just take like this. All are facing north. Okay, that means your left is there. This is your left, and this is your right. You are facing a screen, right? This is your left, and this is your right. Okay, so you can simply proceed like that again. So all this is simple. Okay, just move like that. Okay. So now uh, A should be in the middle. Why? Because A sits third to the left of the person who plays soccer. That means the soccer person playing soccer should be at this end. That's why his first left, second left, and third left. Okay, that is A. Okay, fine. Now also we can see here that it is third to the right of H. That means H should be here. So H first right. Second right and third right, correct. So that first point is very simple one. Obviously, it may time take it may take time to decode it, right? But it eventually, H A and soccer again play. So first point is done. So just put I write right first point here and put a cross. I have used the first point. I'm not going to read again. Okay. In my note, obviously, this is all are screen exams, right? In your notebook, you write point one and put a cross. That means you have completely used the point one. Point two. Only two persons sit between L and the person who plays tennis. So I don't know anywhere, right? So just put here. Only two persons sit between L and tennis. Between L and tennis, there are two persons here. I just write this outside the table. Okay. The person who plays tennis is neither second of the left of the one who plays soccer, nor second uh, of the right of H. So this information I can put in the table, right? The person. This is say. This says that the person who plays tennis. Is neither second of the left of the one who plays soccer. That means this is soccer. That means first and second. So let me just draw two cases parallelly, guys. So let me just draw two cases parallelly. This is A. This is H. And this is this person is playing soccer. So that two cases because it doesn't get messy. Okay. So the person who plays tennis is neither second of the left of the one who plays soccer. So one and two. That means this person is not playing tennis. Okay, nor to the second or the right of it. That means this is H here, first and second. This person is also not playing tennis. Okay, fine. So again, this is direct information we have used here. Nothing to write outside. Okay. 
the person who plays soccer is not adjacent to the person who plays tennis so again soccer is not adjacent to tennis i just put a cross here tennis okay fine move to third point guys the person who plays golf sits second to the left of the person who plays tennis but is not adjacent to either g or z now get this point guys such a such a beautiful point because you're trying you're trying to extract something from here the person who plays golf sits second to the left of the person who plays tennis that means out of these positions tennis cannot be here also because the golf is second to the left so its left is nothing and also tennis cannot be here also because again there's somebody to the second left here so there's first left and the second left here so there's somebody there who has a second left here that means the first two left position cannot be for tennis that means now i'm sure that a is playing tennis right so a is playing tennis this i'm sure now okay and i know that between tennis and l there's a gap of two persons here so if i move left hand side one and two already h is here i cannot cannot put l so I one and two i'll put l here so again this part is also done i'll put a cross down fine move to third move to uh, third point guys so we didn't come to the third point no who uh, the person who plays golf sits second to the left of the person who plays tennis who sits so sec tennis second left is golf okay so person who plays golf sits second to the left of the person who plays tennis so just mark a one and two i'll mark golf here okay i want golf here okay now but is not adjacent to either g or z that means golf is not adjacent to that means this cannot be g and this cannot be z so this position cannot be z g or z okay so i just mark here b is neither adjacent to to no, a nor plays golf so b is not adjacent to a so let's put a cross at b here guys b is not adjacent to a nor plays plays golf so b doesn't play golf right so i'll just put here okay that b doesn't play golf that is this is golf here so i'll put a cross at b so b cannot be at the second at this person put a golf okay so now i'll observe i'll observe that this at this cross also b is at this place also b is crossed this place also b is crossed and this place also b is crossed so only portion left for b is here this is b this b is this is b here fine so i put all the conditions still four are done right the only two persons sit between m and the person who plays badminton so m and badminton only two persons right so basically where can i can i put m and badminton okay so maybe i doesn't have exactly the put this on the table so m and badminton okay G does not play cricket or golf. Again, I'll put a cross here, right? G also doesn't play cricket or golf. Okay, so the, the, the G doesn't play cricket. I'll just write this outside, guys. G doesn't play cricket, and golf already marked here. The G is not going which uh, willing to go. Uh, G is not uh, basically playing go golf here. Okay. G does not play cricket. H does not play cricket or rugby. Again, H does not play. So in front of H, I can mark here. H does not play rugby, and H does not play. cricket correct so now if i try to focus on these points here guys okay so i think only this point is left that only two persons sit between m and the person who plays badminton okay that means m and badminton there is a gap of 2 here okay so obviously if between m and badminton there is a gap of 2 here so only thing i can fill here is i can put either i can put badminton this left right hand side and uh yeah and i or i can put m m on the right hand side okay so i can see that basically badminton and m will fill here only no because there is a place there will be filled actually but before that also what i can do is i can see that i the all the crosses also we can work actually so we can just see here that g is crossed at this place g is crossed at this place that means g will be here correct we can mark this point now z is crossed at this place so z will be here okay and now m will be left so now quite easy to place now m and badminton so m 
वन गैप टू गैप बैडमिंटन दैट सेट राइट एंड नाउ यू सी दैट एम इज अगेन क्रॉस दिस पॉइंट जी डजेंट प्ले क्रिकेट इफ जी डजेंट प्ले क्रिकेट एंड आई थिंक एम या एच डजेंट प्ले रग्बी सो एच डजेंट प्ले रग्बी जी डजेंट प्ले क्रिकेट ओके सो आई थिंक नाउ और एच एच क्रिकेट ऑल्सो क्रॉस G cricket also cross that means only M is left for cricket so M will be playing cricket after that now H is not playing rugby that means G is playing rugby okay and H must be playing hockey so only left out sport now okay set is solved okay such a smoothly can solve such set right okay and just follow this method okay just write all the point inside all the that points outside you can do it easily Okay thank you